to another episode of Beer for Breakfast ABV. I am Danielle from Marty and Danielle in the Mornings on 91X. As always, I have my beer drinking partner in crime with me, Paul Segura, <laughs> brewmaster of Carl Strauss. Aloha. Hi, dude. Did you have fun at the Great American Beer Festival? Uh, well, it wasn't much of a festival this year, but I judged about, uh, I don't know, 300 beers uh, last week. It was a little bit of a grind, but um, kind of, you know, my way of giving back to the industry and the, and the Brewers Association that helps all craft brewers. And we appreciate your service. Thank you for going out there and judging beers for the Great American Beer Festival. Can't wait to see what the results are uh, beginning of October. Today on Beer for Breakfast ABV, we're drinking beer from Second Chance Beer Company. We have got Tori, head of marketing over there at Second Chance Beer Company. And I have a feeling Craig is over there. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, come here and just say hi. Oh my goodness. Craig, it's Paul. Get in there. Craig, it's beer for breakfast. Come on. <laughs> He's coming. He's just coming. He'll come eventually. Yeah. He's coming. Uh, Sorry, <laughs> welcome. This is your first time on Beer for Breakfast. Not the first time for Second Chance, but first time for Tori. Welcome. Yes, I'm so uh, excited. Second Chance, yeah, definitely. Not your first time. <laughs> Yeah, so, oh, I'm so excited. We're kicking things off with a new brand for you guys, the Slim Chance Hard Seltzer. This yes. one is the Peach Nectarine. Um, we're looking at 5% ABV, <laughs> 110 calories per 12-ounce can. Tell me, how did we get into the seltzer game over at Second Chance? Well, they have been brewing the idea and actually talking about it for over two years. <laughs> um, so it's actually, ooh, look at that color. Mm. Looks so good. Um, Isn't it pretty? It's honestly such a clean and crisp. And I like that it's a little more yellowy for uh, the peach and nectarines. It shows it's a little more real. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that's what I love about it. But yeah, they have been thinking about seltzers for two years now. And it's been an idea that Virginia wants. And it an idea that Marty has been crafting, but truly wanted to make it right. And that's why it took them a little longer <laughs> to join the seltzer game, even though they've been thinking about it for so long. And after finally kind of narrowing the recipe down, Marty found a batch that he liked and we started with watermelon uh, mint. And that's what we started on draft. And then after we got really good feedback from there, we started growing flavors and peach nectarine was the next one. <laughs> And that is what you guys are currently drinking, which does have real nectarine juice and peach juice. Um, every seltzer is going to have real juice. Our goal is to, in 2021, uh, be locally sourcing it from a farm. Uh, so hopefully that happens in 2020, 2021. Right now the fruits are still growing and all that stuff. So right now we're not as local as we want to be. <laughs> Paul, you're making seltzer. What do you think of this seltzer? Yeah. This is legitimately one of the better ones I've had. Um, <laughs> you get like both the peach and the nectarine flavor in like harmony with each other on the same level in equal amounts. Um, and it finishes kind of um, sweet. Dry uh, and sweet. I mean, it's, well, I mean, it's all seltzers are dry, but this one, um, I mean, there's probably like zero sugar in this thing after fermentation, but it's, really good i mean i i'm a beer guy but i would drink the hell out of this, um, this yeah it's still good. yeah it's still malt based so it's not you know going to be that crystal clear white claw you know seltzers that you're seeing out there artificial um but it has just a good malt base and then from there it's fermented out as you know and you guys are doing them as well um and then the juices and yeah we're so excited so, about it <laughs> I, I got to say one more thing, like a lot, most seltzers taste like water with a little bit of like fruit flavor added or something. This yep. has a little beer flavor to it. Mm. It doesn't just taste like water with, you know, a fruit flavors. It's, it's got a lot going on. It's nice. It yeah. also doesn't have that sometimes sulfur taste that I've gotten off of some yeah. seltzers. Some seltzers that I had kind of have that like sulfur aftertaste to this and this is just all fruit i feel like i'm eating a peach <laughs> what i got yeah! what's up? What's up? 
I didn't hey, I love that shirt, man. <laughs> dude, you know it's tie dye Tuesday, my dude. <laughs> I love that we shirt almost as much today. as I love that that haircut of yours. Right? <laughs> oh, it's tight up in here, dude. <laughs> For aerodynamics. Ben, are you going to introduce yourself, please? Oh, hi, I'm Ben. I'm one of the brewers here at Second Chance Beer Company. Just living my best life on a tie dye Tuesday. They are We've been canning beer all day long. We got some <laughs> IPA coming. Coming your way shortly. Yeah. Getting ready for a Costco pack out tomorrow. They are currently drinking nice. peach Ooh. nectarine right You're now. You're having some party water? Yes. So I saw that well, we hashtag also, party water. Yeah. But we also have this That's little guy. Phone, dude. <laughs> yeah. You want to give a little little background on party um, water right now real quick? Well, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, party, <laughs> party water, water. It's more of like a way of life. It's a way of life. You know? Because. <laughs> trying to stay hydrated here in San Diego, even though it's the first day of fall, uh, you know, that's not going to happen for us for another four months. So <laughs> we got to drink right. that water if we can. And, you know, it's like a 51% malt base, uh, hard go. seltzer, crafted for perfection, <laughs> all natural flavors. Peach nectarine is fantastic. <laughs> we also have the watermelon mint, which is really, really good. Um but yeah. I've had the watermelon mint. You guys, for what you have out so far, it makes me really excited to see what flavors come out next with Second Chance. Actually, Slim Chance for the <laughs> seltzer line. Um, I'm extra excited to talk to you guys about this behemoth right here because this was a collaboration with my friend over here from Carl Strauss, the Second Chance 5th Anniversary uh, Double IPA. This is my time to glow, and I wish Marty was here right now. I beat Marty in a game of dice at the anniversary party and ended up totally scoring this, like, really awesome prize pack. Um, but that is my claim to fame against Marty Mendioli, brewmaster, co-owner, founder of Second Chance. Ah! Speaking of, I feel like our hands are... Quite empty over I know. Here. Me, it, give me, I'll be right back. Yeah, give me a... What do you want? Some party water? Go get the Annie. Anniversary. So I, I apologize to everyone at Second Chance. I was supposed to be there on brew day when this yeah. beer got brewed. I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I know our logo's on the can. Um, hey, you did you see all the lovely pictures of your face plastered around? <laughs> <laughs> your yeah, face is all over our brew day. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I hope that didn't scare people away. It was um, a impression for me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the beer turned out amazing. Like they, I'm, they put so much heart into it. Yeah, it's super amazing. I get a lot of stone fruit. I get pineapple. The, yeah. the aroma is like really dank and grapefruity. It's oh, it's so dank. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, it's like somebody opened a fat sack <laughs> of hops <laughs> every time. Oh, we still have Paul. You're always in our brew house, man. Hey, thanks yeah. for putting a mask on me. Hey, you know, safety third. That's what we say. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That's cool. awesome. You're gonna I love you guys, man. <laughs> well, let's uh before we really dive into all the awesomeness of this beer, can we take a second and cheers to Virginia and Marty and the entire team over at Second Chance and congratulations on five years. Like you guys are Cheers, <laughs> hey, salute. Yes. Hey, pros, y'all. <laughs> yeah, we got Oktoberfest happening tomorrow. No. Saturday. 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 I don't know what today is. <laughs> but again, Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Tuesday. Tie dye Tuesday, I forgot. Tie dye Tuesday. But so, I, I mean so it's five well, years. Get into this year a little bit. It's five years for second chance. But the reason it's second chance is Marty has like, he's a local icon in San Diego on the brewing scene. He has spent many years at Rock Bottom and La Jolla yeah. garnering yeah. a boatload of medals. And then he yeah. goes and opens his own brewery and garners another boatload of medals. Yeah. Uh, you know, what can you say about Marty Mendiola and the awesome team that he's got, guys like Ben and Craig? Um, just raking it up just making some of the best beer in san diego um 
Seriously, you guys, yeah, they're crushing. The proof it. is in the pudding. Yeah, they're, you guys are you guys are crushing it, man. Um, hey, those kind words. Here's the five years. Hey, right there. Yeah, man. cheers. Yeah, it's been a fun five years so far. <laughs> here's to ten more, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, and then some more. The, exactly. To fifty more. Yeah, there yeah, we go. There go. <laughs> Paul, do you know what the inspiration for this double IPA was? Was this like a true collaboration or was it like a, hey, we have this and we have this and let's put it together and make some make some beer? It um, was mostly, okay, I'll let actually Ben. No, I no, I was uh, only in the back of the house, man. That was a, you, got, you and Marty hanging that out. That was a you and Marty, though. <laughs> I just got to go over and meet some of your awesome brewers when I picked up some Strata. Because Strata really shines through on this beer. I love Strata. Like, ugh. I got to put some Strata, actually, got to pour some in. That yeah. was the best, yeah. Well, that's why it tastes so good. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that extra, extra Tory touch. I got some love in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, actually, all this was like, I mean, Mar it's all on Marty. Um, you know, 99% of it. He said, I want to brew a double IPA. How would you feel about that? You, I said, how would I not want that, right? It's all good. Well, by the way, we'd like to have some strata in it. Do you have any strata kicking around? Well, it's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, strata's a great hop, uh, you know, and when he explained, you know, I think he wanted kind of fruit, you know, this, this fruit idea, right? It all starts with an idea, um, stone fruit, pineapple, grapefruit, all these other things, and, um, you know, Marty's that kind of brewer where where he can envision how something's going to taste and then work backward from it and know what hops to use in order to get that, you know, flavor and aroma. Um, and he nailed it. Super good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why he's the master. Yeah, he's a master. We uh, use the term way too much around here. <laughs> <laughs> He's so they're in Grand Teton National Park or something right now. Um, are, yeah. yeah, they're hanging out with the Melvin kids. Yeah. yeah. Oh, debauchery all around for sure. I can only imagine. Those hangovers <laughs> would be running deep with that kind of out. <laughs> Before we say goodbye, uh, Tori, can you give us an update as far as the tasting rooms go, uh, hours, what's going on? I know that as we move through this crazy thing called 2020 and COVID-19, we uh, things are constantly changing. But as of this, you know, third week of September, what's going on over at Second Chance as far as operations go? Yeah, I mean, we're still clicking. We definitely have grown and expanded a little bit out into our outdoors. And thankfully, we have the ability to have an outdoor space. Um, with chairs, tables, a whole lounge outdoors. And then our North Park location already had the roll-up doors and a nice outdoor patio. So thankfully down there, we really just kept everyone outside. And here we've created a whole new <laughs> beer garden parking lot. I mean, as you saw at our fifth anniversary, you know, we, we're able to pretty much space things out really nicely. People don't feel like they're right on top of each other. We have lots of shade and tents, and this weekend we're going to be hosting a little Oktoberfest event with Mastiff Sausage Company and kind of doing another little pairing again where, you know, you can have some food and hang out and hopefully safely, you know, kind of reconvene with, you know, your family and friends and For sure. safely get out and about a little bit. I will say that when I went to the anniversary celebration, I was thoroughly impressed with all these safety uh, precautions you guys were taking. Everything that you did, you made it super, super comfortable, but also <laughs> didn't feel like you were off on an island all on your own. So I've really got to commend the entire team over there at Second yeah. Chance. Uh, what is the best way to keep up with what's going on with Second Chance? The best way to keep up with our hours for um, new releases is on our social media. Our Instagram is staying up to date as best as possible. Our Facebook as well. Um, and all the other avenues like SDBG app, you know, we're, we're trying to stay up to date with all of our events and things as very few events that we are having. <laughs> um, and then as far as hours goes, I mean, we're one to 9 PM right now, but as things change, that might change. So the best way to find that is going to be on our social media and our Googles and all those things. Um, our website's also getting a little bit of a facelift, so that'll be nice for people to start to see and they can go and deep dive on Slim Chance Hard Seltzer. They can do a little bit more of a deep dive on uh, shopping for beer and getting it delivered home. So 
that's exciting. That's super, super awesome. Tori, thank you so much for joining us and being now part of the 91X Beer for Breakfast family. We welcome you. Uh, oh, ben, you. it's always a fantastic time <laughs> to see you. Uh, this Friday, <laughs> I will be joining my Marty, 91X Marty. He'll be oh. doing my Marty on the radio for Beer for Breakfast. We will be drinking Slim Chance as well as the uh, anniversary Collaboration beer with Carl Strauss. Party water it up, and I like this. Really, is the seltzer for beer drinkers and the seltzer people trying to get into beer. So yes, to tell people it's you know it's that happy medium. I, I love party that water. You made this fifty-one percent malt taste. I mean, that really is the, the seltzer for beer drinkers. It right really there. is because yeah. Yeah, yeah, it has a little bit of a malt finish out back. So I really like. You know, even if you want like a nice light ale, you're drinking one, you know? I love it. We will dive into that some more on Beer for Breakfast at 910 on 91X. Thank you so much. And uh, cheers to independently owned craft beer and radio in, in San Diego. Cheers, cheers to that. Bro. We will be tuning in on Friday. So cheers Absolutely. to you guys. Happy fifth anniversary, guys. Hey, thank, thank you. Yeah, so <laughs> shout out Marty and Virginia. <laughs> 91X.